Hello friends, welcome to NoCP Technology. My name is Shudipal and today I am going to show you how to recover a table space in case of no backup. Let's see. First of all you have to log in in your database as an admin user. Write this command. Okay. Then start up your database using startup command. startup okay now check how many table spaces existing in your database using this command enter enter this command and you can see how many table space existing in your database we have six table space right now in our database okay now check your data file path, path using this command you can see your all data files path it will be same ok now connect with the rman using host command and take a full backup for security purpose for taking the backup using following command backup database Okay, log. Okay, enter. After finishing backup, run list command for checking backup summary using following command. Run this command, and it's showing you all the backup summary of your data. This backup. Okay. This is your database backup summary. Okay. Now, now exit from Arman prompt and connect your SQL prompt use using exit keyword. Now create a new table space and create a new user for practical. Right now, I'm going to create a new table space here. For creating new table space, you can use this command create table space, table space name, and uh, data file, data file path, then size of table space in data file, and auto extend on or off. What do you want? Okay, now enter this command. Enter. Oh, sorry, auto extend spelling is a mistake. Auto extend right, right. So you can create your new table space using this command. Okay, now you have need to create a new user for practice okay now I'm going to create a new user for creating new user you can use this command create user username and identify the passwords and default table space your test db which is we are creating right now in previous command and the code unlimited on test table right then enter okay your new user has been created successfully now next now grant some permission to this user using following command ok 
created session resource and dba to your username right now exit from sql prompt and uh, connect rmn prompt and check backup of new table space existing or not in the ba database backup okay using following command to can you can check your database uh, your table space your new table space backup exist or not in your database backup using this command using target database control file instead of recovery catalog specifier does not match any backup in the repository so we don't have right now the backup of new table space which is name is test underscore tv okay now exit from rmn prompt and connect sql and log in with your new user okay so sql plus what is your username uh, you can check here, here OCP tech and uh, password is also OCP tech right then enter now you are logging in but with your new user you can check show user user is OCP tech which is a new user right now create a table in that user account yeah. using create command using following command you can create a new table right now enter some values in that table in using insert command this then commit and now check data in the table OCP right in that OCP table have that data that records okay. using following command you can check your existing table which is created by you OCP which is name is OCP is stored by default in table space in new table space which is created by uh, me test underscore TV you can see using this command okay right now now open new terminal and login with the admin user then shut down about your system using shu about command After shutdown, exit from both window using exit keyword. Okay. After exit from both window, you have to remove your data file of test underscore tv table space from your original location. As you may know your data file location is user1 app oracle or data dblmng test.tb 01.tbf ok now going on host and remove it using rm command ok you can use the following command to remove your data file from original locations ok this is the web original location right Okay, enter. 
so your uh, data file has been come successfully removed from your original location you can check it all data file are existing on your original location or not using ls command so you can see here your all another data files also available on that location but your test.db01.dbf not exist right now in that location right using sql command login in database and try to start up your database using a startup command so you can see it's showing an error like okay so it's showing that error this, this is data file 6 this is data file 6 right okay now exit from a school prompt and connect rman prompt using rman target command this enter and try to recover that data file rman using using recover database command recover data base semicolon enter so it's showing an error like this data file 6 must be restored right we can check the data file backup we can also we also check about that using list this command list backup of data file this so at run this command using enter so it's saying it does not match any backup in the repository okay after run this command run that one command this one command sorry paste yeah. restore data file 6 so you can see your data file restored successfully okay now you can run your recover database command your recovery has been successfully completed now open your database using this command your database has been opened now exit from our main prompt using exit command and login in your database using sql plus command and uh, connect your user name is ocp tech and uh, okay you can you are connected with successfully and uh, you can also check your table name and table records star from ocp so your data file, your data table space and your username, user and your, your, data, your user table has been recovered successfully. For checking your data file exist or not, you can use ls command and uh, run this command. You can see here your old data file, pa uh, data file and you can also see here your new data table space data file uh, exists. Right? So friend, I hope you can understand easily how to recover your table space without any backup. Because of that, Armen, uh, it's recover automatically. It's feature in Oracle 11G. So I hope you can understand easily. So like my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you.